What's going on guys? Welcome back to The Den. I hope you guys are having an awesome May the 4th. And today I thought it'd be really fun, since it's May the 4th, to do a cool creation video and show you guys how I build these life-size block savers. Now, Lego Star Wars has been something that's been a part of my childhood, I'm sure many of yours, forever. So what better way to celebrate Star Wars Day than to build a Lego saber? But before we do that, I wanted to let you guys know that I am doing a sale on my shop. If you go to it right now, you can get 10% off all Star Wars items and 20% off all 3D printed files. So if you're a 3D printer, you're looking for awesome Star Wars files, definitely go check that out. It's going to be PMP Creations. I'll have it right here and down below. And with that, let's get into the video. No, this printer has been giving me a lot of problems, but I think I have a trick that might work. It works about 100% of the time, so let's give it a try. You want to print the Lego Saber hilts. Oh, look at that. It worked just fine. It came out real nice. Got the indention for the PVC pipe to go in it, and it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. Let's go on to the next step. You want to print the PVC connector. And look at that, same as before, it worked. Okay, so now that we have the hilt printed and the plug for the PVC pipe printed, we're gonna go ahead and get started on a lot of this stuff. So I just wanted to show a comparison real quick though. So this is the PVC pipe that we're using now. It is a one inch by five foot PVC pipe. Let me see if I can show you guys that so you can get a little reference. And the reason for this is one, I had to smooth, this is the old one that I used to make. I had to smooth these for hours and hours and hours, and that's why they cost so much on my shop. What I would do is I would take, basically I think it's like here, here, and here. So imagine three cylinders, each one 3D printed. I would weld each line together, glue it with the five minute epoxy, weld each line together, and then continue to smooth the whole thing with Bondo. And if anybody's worked with this stuff, you guys know how much of a pain in the ass this is. You gotta apply it, apply it, apply it, sand, sand, sand. It's, it's a lot of fun. So hopefully this will mitigate a lot of that and take a lot of the work out of these to where I just have to use the plug that I printed, put it in the top to make it flat and then use UV resin you guys can see it here. This is the one that I use. Just UV resin the top, smooth it until it's it's smooth. And then it's already smooth because it's a PVC pipe. Not to mention also, I had to constantly tell people on my website, on Etsy, at conventions that I do, that these were for display. You can't hit people with them. You can't do anything, which is like half the fun. Come on, the lightsaber fights are the best. Let's, let's be real here. And if you did it, it would probably create hairline fractures, even though it was welded, sanded, all that stuff. It still had weaknesses, even with the, I put up wooden dowels in it, even with the wooden dowels, it was still. With these, you can smack these around, you can clank them, you can do whatever. The paint might chip a little bit, but these are gonna be way more durable and uh, way more like user friendly when it comes to like doing battles with your friends and stuff like that. Not to mention, it's also longer, so that's cool. That's what she said. <laughs> So what we're going to do now is, like I said, we have to put the, the plug in here and I'm going to use the five minute Gorilla Epoxy. We're going to use the five minute Gorilla Epoxy and I can't stress this enough. This is amazing. If you don't do, know what it is, you basically just put it down. You have to mix it because it's a two, two in one mixture. It comes with these little these little things, you can see a little bit of the cardboard that popped off there. You use a little stir stick, stir it together. I let it sit for like 30 seconds to a minute because it's five minute pocket. Just let it harden just a little bit more. And oh, if I grab it again, and we're just gonna put this in here and then let it cure. And then we're gonna resin the top. So let's get into it. Okay, so while the glue is drying on the saber, uh, we're gonna move to the lightsaber hilt. And normally I would just leave it. It looks really good with the silver, but 
It's been raining a lot here, and the humidity is just ridiculous. It's gross. It's disgusting. I hate humidity. Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. But little 3D printing knowledge here is what happens when there's a lot of humidity in the air. The filament it gets moisture in it unless you have like the filament tanks that like basically remove all the temperature uh, situations from the filament messing up. And when you get, let me see if I can find some pits of this. When you get a lot of humidity, uh, moisture gets into the filament and you can see it starts to pit a little bit here. This can also be caused by too high a temperatures, but this one is definitely, um, definitely from humidity. So what I'm gonna do instead of just like leaving it how it is, I'm gonna take a soldering iron, turn it on pretty low heat, I don't have an exact number, and just lightly tap each one of these little pits until it just kind of melts over. And then I'm going to take some sparkle silver spray paint and spray the saber. If you guys have followed me over on my uh, my art Instagram, uh, PMP Creations, you guys have seen these sabers a lot, and you've probably seen the sparkle spray paint. It's really nice and really well done. So let's get into that. But before we do, I definitely want to say if you're ever melting any plastic or doing anything, please make sure you're wearing the right respirators and having the right protection. You don't want to be inhaling any of this stuff into your lungs. Um, even having like a fumigator to like suck up all the fumes or in my case, I'm not going to do it right now because like I said, it's so humid outside, but normally I would raise the garage doors and have all that stuff. Please make sure you're wearing the right stuff. So now that we got all these little pits melted away, I'm going to hit this with some 200 grit sandpaper just to make sure everything's all nice and smooth so that when we paint it, it there's no little divots showing from where I melted the pits. And then we're going to go move on to UV resining the top of the saper to make that also really smooth. So for this step, I'm just using clear UV resin and kind of making the top uh, hitting it with the brush and then hitting it with a UV light to harden it and then I'll go through and sand it and I'll do this layer probably about two or three times uh, just to get it all nice and smooth. After about two or three passes with the resin and sanding it, I think it's time to hit it with the two-in-one sand filler sandable primer uh, to get everything nice and smooth and prepped to be painted. Okay, so now that we have the saber completely uh, sanded and hit it with the uh, filler primer, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit probably the top with just a little bit of 320. I don't know if you guys can see that. I know it's kind of tough. There's a little bit of unevenness, so maybe a little bit of 320, then hit it with some 400, and then hit the whole saber with 400 and then with the hilt as well. And then we can get to the exciting part, which is painting it. So let's get into sanding. So now that we have everything all sanded and we're going to hit it with the Rust-Oleum paint. And this one is called Brilliant Blue. And Delta is actually going to be painted with Rust-Oleum as well, but it's called Dark Steel. But it gives this really great like silver sparkle effect that I just I love using this on all the sabers. Okay, so we're finished, and this is how it came out. I think it turned out really nice. The uh, the sparkle silver on the hilt looks really good. The blue is popping. Came out really nice, and 
really cuts down on the time for smoothing. I didn't. I think it looks just as good, if not better, than how I originally did it. And I also did one, see here, in green. I'll probably end up doing a red one at some point. I know I want to do a Darth Maul uh, classic block saber as well. If you guys are interested, I'm gonna have these on my shop uh, and I'm doing a sale for May the 4th. So if you guys wanna go check that out, the links will be down below and I'll, I'll put it right here as well. So you can go check that out. Um, I believe I'm doing 10% off all Star Wars items and then the files are gonna be 20% off. So you don't wanna miss out on that. It's gonna be May the 4th through May the 11th. And as always, thank you guys for watching and may the force be with you.